Hello and welcome to my video. Um, today's video has come about a bit by accident really. I hadn't actually intended to make this video. But I was just playing around with my camera yesterday and I was uh, taking photographs of my, my guitar. Little sort of close-up photographs. And I was using my, my 50mm um, 1.8 lens which is uh, it's a new lens for me and um, so I was kind of really experimenting and I was shooting it with the aperture wide open at 1.8 um, and I got some quite interesting images that I want to, wanted to share with you. In fact I got so excited about these images I actually decided to also try to do the same kind of thing by uh, picking up the guitar and noodling and, and just um, and, and filming um, me playing guitar. Um, so you see, I made a little video for you. Now I want to tell you a little bit about the 50mm lens, it's the 1.8, because it, it's, it's, a, it's a lens that should be in every, every photographer's camera bag, at least that's what I'd always read and I'd always been told. But I like, you know, I am always resist spending any money and I'd, I'd already got a, uh, an 18 millimeter to 300 millimeter zoom lens and I really just used that one lens and my thinking was quite simple really, was that I, I thought that with that lens I've got all of the focal lengths that I could possibly want. And it's, it's that lens has stood me in good stead for all sorts of things from safari pictures to landscape and uh, I've really enjoyed using it. And I couldn't really see the, the, the point of buying a 50 millimeter lens just because it was a bit faster. I, it's 1.8 whereas my zoom lens is probably I think goes down to 5.6 or something like that. And I kind of felt that the only reason for getting one of those was if I wanted to do you know low level lighting shooting or things in the dark and stuff like that where perhaps I would be able to get away with handheld rather than using a tripod but I was wrong and the real reason for getting a 1.8 lens and a 50 millimeter is because of the depth of field that you can achieve this is video is actually being shot with the um, with the 50 millimeter at 1.8 now and you can see that the background is kind of nice and fuzzy it's actually a real mess back there but the fuzziness kind of makes it look you know quite fine you know um, and um, so I think this this film really demonstrates um, about depth of field or depth of focus as I you know prefer to explain it I mean if you don't know what it means it means basically that the the amount of the photograph that is in focus and the amount that is out of focus at, at any given sort of um, uh, focal length or, or aperture setting so with this lens it's fixed at 50 millimeters and the aperture was wide open and I basically got as close to the guitar as was necessary for it to actually start getting into focus. So I'm really at the extreme of depth of field and you, you, the depth of field as you'll see in the photographs is only about one centimeter or maybe even less. Um, so it it's produces some really quite interesting sort of images. The sort of things that you have seen before, no doubt. But it's very satisfying to, to figure out how to make those kind of photographs. Um, so I hope you enjoy the little film, which will will demonstrate it.